Hi and welcome to my Blender tutorial about how to use HDR files inside of Blender to make your stuff uh, look much more realistic. Okay, so yesterday I posted this Batmobile on the Blender Underground Forum and uh, now I'm going to show you how to set up the, the lightning, the materials and uh, yeah, well, and uh, HDR Actually, the lightning is a combination of HDR and ambient occlusion. So, this is made in Blender and rendered with the with the render called Y YAF Ray. I've heard about that one. So, yet another free ray tracer. Okay, instead of looking at the car, let's make a totally new scene here. It's Christmas, so I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make one of these balls you have on the Christmas tree. So let's just make this smooth. Um, yeah, this is fine actually. We'll just put it on a plane. Maybe scale the plane a bit like this. Go to side perspective. Move this down. All right. Let's go to camera view. Let's move the camera a bit here. Okay. Let's just try and render this. This is how it looks. Standard materials, nothing. Nothing special about that. Um if we go to our render settings here and uh, instead of blender internal you'd use this render instead. So YIF ray. Uh this one you don't need to do anything. In this one you choose full and in this one Let's just put it for low at this time. Uh, enable cache and try to render again. Okay, it looks like this now. First of all, what we want to do is we want to assign a material for this one. We want something glass like. I'm not going to show you how to make a glass. Uh, material in Blender, I'm just gonna download one. So if you go to Google and write Blender materials, you can go to blendermaterials.org and here you can get lots of, of great materials. So let's see what we want is maybe some glass and let's see what do we want, what should we take. Let's take this blue glass. Okay, so download it. Just save to desktop. Okay. So looking at our desktop, you can see we've got our file here. We also want to download a uh, HDR file. And those can also be found anywhere on the internet. So right, download HDRI. I found this website yesterday called hdrimaps.com and let's just download this one save to desktop okay so here's our file so let's extract let's extract it and we just need this one so you can delete this folder and this now all we have now is we have our materials we downloaded before and we have our HDR map let's go back into blender and let's start by importing our glass material. So go to file, choose a pinned or link, go to the desktop, and choose our our blue glass material. Choose material, this one, okay. Right click on your uh, spear and go to to your shading and you can see it's been important, so imported, so just choose this one. Let's make this plane a bit bigger again, so just scale it up a bit, like this, okay. So let's try and render, see what it looks like. Okay, this is what we've got so far. So already looking better, but we don't have any reflections. The problem when using a 3D program is that you have in this example, for example, you have the spear and you have the plane. 
but you don't have any surroundings which can reflect uh, not unlike in real life you have all kind of your buildings people sky whatever which makes reflections into this and this is the stuff that makes it realistic so what we do is we go in back in splinter here and we choose uh, you're going to uh, world buttons and you choose add new let's call this HDR okay or you can keep name it whatever you want uh, enable this spear important and choose real over here go to map 2 and choose horizon and disable blend and go into your um, texture buttons here so you can see the material we just made is, is uh, selected choose image load and let's find our HDR file which is this one okay and you can see it down here let's make this a bit bigger so we can see what's going on so now the uh, the HDR file is set correctly up and uh, we can try render again and now as you can see um, we got some reflections here this comes from the HDR map so let's do a final thing let's use ambient occlusion or oh, actually let's let's not use ambient occlusion let's just <laughs> let's just um, go to our render uh, and choose this tab just choose best and let's give it some go to this tab choose 5 instead to, to to make the image more light and uh, because we choose we chose this best this is going to take much longer time but i've got a fast computer and i'm going to pause while it's uh, rendering and i'm back again and the image has rendered as you can see this took uh around a half a minute to to render and uh, this was an actually final this is uh, what you do to to set up hdr and use uh, this render instead of the normal blender internal rendering this was exactly how i did um do the the rendering for the batmobile car which you saw in the beginning uh, it was just another i used a more car car like material so try this off and um, just one extra note is that if you have a, a dual core quad core processor please make sure that this one is enabled the, so the car you see down here uh, I've got a quad core so the I'm using all four CPUs in the computer which speeds things up like four times the speed uh, the rendering as you saw before took like a half a minute if I had only chosen one thread then it would have taken yeah, four times 30 so it would have taken like two minutes instead so imagine if this image took like 10 minutes in a quad core processor which actually was the time for for the Batmobile rendering well if I only used one one CPU then it would have taken 40 minutes so just just to speed things up <laughs> try to use this if you got a fast computer um, also when you're testing lightning just keep it on low in the beginning and then when you're satisfied and want the final image you just change it to best and then you go and take a cup of coffee because then it it's gonna take some time so that's all for now and i hope you enjoyed it bye